After defeating King Piccolo and resurrecting all those who died, Goku leaves to train with Kami-sama for the remaining three years for the 23rd World Martial Arts Tournament. For a whole year, Goku has been training very hard in the watchtower. One day, after taking a bath, Goku saw a door open. Being very curious, he entered the room. The room was full of strange objects and boxes, but what caught his attention was a huge mirror almost three meters high and one meter wide, which was covered with a large sheet. Goku approached and removed the sheet a little to see why it was so jealously covered. But when he looked in the mirror, what he saw was not his reflection, but a forest. Goku didn't understand why he saw a forest in the mirror, but being who he is, he didn't give it much importance and left the room. During the following days, for some reason, Goku always entered that room to see if what the mirror reflected had changed. To his disappointment, nothing had changed. He only saw the same forest day after day. For several months, Goku only saw the same forest. But one of those days, when he went to check if something had changed, Kami-sama saw him enter the room. When he looked in to see what Goku was doing, Kami-sama saw him looking at the mirror and was startled, which caught the attention of the curious Goku. Goku, what are you supposed to be doing? Get away from that mirror right now, shouted Kami-sama. Dangerous? asked Goku, moving away from the mirror. Exactly. That mirror is a portal to other worlds, and what's worse, every day it shows a random place. If you go into it, you won't be able to return to this world until who knows when, explained Kami-sama. What does random mean? asked Goku, since he didn't know that word. It means that every time it shows something different, explained Kami-sama. Goku didn't understand why Kami-sama said that, since for a few months the mirror always showed him the same place. Once, I ended up trapped in a world that the mirror reflected. It took 100 years for the portal to this world to appear again, warned Kami-sama. But Kami-sama, for several months I have only seen the same forest over and over again reflected, Goku told him. That's impossible, said Kami-sama, surprised. He approached the mirror and removed the sheet that covered it, and as Goku had said, you could only see a forest. Do you see? Goku said. Kami-sama was thoughtful. Had the mirror broken? Or was this a sign for Goku to go to the other side? Whatever it was, Kama. He couldn't let Goku go to the other side. So he made a decision. Goku, you are strictly forbidden to approach the mirror, understood? Said Kami-sama in a very serious tone. But, Goku tried to say, but Kami-sama interrupted him. There are no buts that are valid, understood? He said with a serious tone. Understood. Goku resignedly accepted? Kami-sama happily gave him a smile, and the two left the room. But before the door closed, Goku took a last look at the mirror. That night, Goku, who for some reason had become obsessed with the mirror, disobeyed Kami-sama, and went to look at it that same night. Goku removed the entire sheet and looked at the mirror, but as always, the only thing he could see was that forest, which made him very curious. Why does it always show me this forest? I don't understand, Goku said with crossed arms, tilting his head in confusion. While looking at it with a confused face, something inside him pushed him to touch the mirror. Kami-sama said it's dangerous, but I don't think anything will happen if I touch it, Goku said to himself. He stretched out his hand, and with his palm, he touched the mirror. A minute later, Goku had a disappointed face since nothing had happened. Apparently, what Kami-sama had told him was only so that he wouldn't break it by accident, or something like that. What a disappointment, Goku said, depressed. But when he tried to remove his hand, for some reason he couldn't. It was as if it was glued to the mirror. That was a problem since if Kami-sama found him there, he would surely be punished for disobeying him. And that was not good, nothing good. Goku tried to take his hand off the mirror, pulling with all his strength, but for some reason, it seemed that his hand was sinking further into the mirror. It was very strange, but Goku at that moment did not have the head to think about it, he just wanted to take it out and go to sleep before Kami-sama found him. His arm was already almost up to his elbow inside the mirror, but at that moment, Goku came up with something very stupid. If my arm began to sink with force, if I stop doing it, will it let go? Goku thought it was a brilliant idea, but the moment he stopped using strength, as if something invisible pulled him from the other side, Goku was completely absorbed into the mirror. Valley Kingdom, Emerald Forest Goku fell from a great height, with his legs and arms crossed while he fell and thought, mm. I think Kami-sama will get very angry when he finds out. It will be better to go back to where I came from, thought Goku as he fell from a great height. Flying cloud? shouted Goku, calling his cloud. Goku waited while he fell, but the cloud didn't appear. Wow, 
It seems that in this place the cloud can appear, then I'd better use my new skill, Goku said to himself, and stopped in the air suddenly. Up. Thank goodness the first thing he taught me was the ability to fly, said Goku, sighing. The best thing will be to return, he said, looking at the sky, but the mirror through which he entered had disappeared. Goku stayed for a few moments looking at the place where it was supposed to be, but after realizing that he was trapped in this place, he just shrugged and landed in the forest. Goku was not worried, since for a long time he had lived alone on Mount Peozu, so being alone in the middle of a forest did not worry him at all. Suddenly, his stomach began to growl like a beast. I'd better look for some animal or fruit to eat, he said while touching his stomach, but at that moment, as he was about to leave to look for food, a girl appeared from some bushes at high speed as if running away from something. The girl's appearance was that of a young girl with light skin, silver eyes, and black hair, long to the neck, choppy, which turned dark red at the ends. She wore a thick black blouse with long sleeves, a high collar, and red piping on the sleeves, a black waist girdle with red laces on the front, and a black skirt with red trim. She also wore a pair of thick black stockings and black combat boots with red laces, a red border around the top, and red soles. Her outfit was crowned by a red cape with a hood held to the shoulders by means of cross-shaped pins. The young woman looked at Goku with her silver eyes, and he looked at her with his black eyes. For some reason, which neither of them understood, they felt something in their hearts, but now was not the time for that kind of thing. And the girl warned him. Quick, move, a Beowulf is chasing me, the black-haired girl warned him. Beowulf? Goku didn't understand what the girl was talking about, but at that moment, the creature appeared. It was a dark-colored creature with large claws and some spikes coming out of its forearms and all over its back. The creature had a kind of white skull with red lines and stood on two legs. Goku looked at the creature with a complicated face while thinking, can that thing be eaten? As his stomach made noise, the black-haired girl looked scared since Goku was standing in front of the beast and seemed very calm. The enraged beast slapped at Goku to tear him apart, but he stopped the blow with one arm causing the black-haired girl to let out a cry of surprise. Goku looked at the creature, which growled wildly, but with a smile on his face, he pushed its arm away, and disappeared from the side of the creature and the girl. The beast looked left and right, confused, but Goku reappeared behind it and, with a strong blow to the back of its neck, broke the beast's neck. The girl, who was on a branch, had eyes wide with surprise at what happened in front of her, since the mysterious boy had killed a battle Beowulf with his bare hands without using aura or any kind of weaponry. The girl came down from the tree and approached Goku, who looked at the dead creature with crossed arms and a complicated face, which made the girl ask him, why do you make that face? Asked the intrigued girl, well, I don't know if it will be a good idea to eat it or not, it doesn't look good let's say, Goku replied, still with a confused face. The girl put on a surprised face at what Goku said, are you really considering eating that? asked the girl. I'm hungry, so I'm seriously considering it. Goku replied, and his stomach began to growl. The girl, horrified by what Goku was thinking of doing, took a package of cookies out of her pocket and handed it to him. I only have this, but it will always be better than eating that thing, the girl said, making a face at the thought of eating the creature. Goku, seeing the girl's kind gesture, happily accepted the cookies and, with a big smile, thanked the girl. Thank you very much, you are very kind, what was your name? Goku asked her. No, I haven't told you yet, but well, my name is Ruby Rose, and you? Ruby introduced herself. Whoa, that's right, I'm son Goku, but just call me Goku, nice to meet you, Ruby. He introduced himself with a smile. The two shook hands, and a friendship was formed. But from a distance, someone had witnessed everything. And at this moment, he had a funny smile on his face a middle-aged man with ruffled silver hair, and thin brown eyes, he had a light complexion, and sharp facial features, it seems that something interesting is about to begin, said the man with glasses, 